19th of October 2017, the first 8313 new family aircraft is on the runway, ready to soar to the skies for its first time. Nearly 15 years since its predecessor took off, the newest member of the hugely successful A330 family is now preparing for its first flight. While the NEO is a relatively simple upgrade, the story of how it came to be is actually more complicated. Dive deeper into the NEO in this epic documentary, documenting how this aircraft came to be. In 2004, the mainstay of the medium-sized widebody fleet was 767s and A330s. Though with the A330 having slightly higher performance, it proved more popular. Boeing wanted to regain market share on the white bodies and was secretly planning a successor to 767. In 2004, Boeing launched their new 7E7 program. With its new technologies such as carbon composite fuselage and wings as well as the newest generation engines, Boeing promised a 20% low fuel burn. Boeing launched this with the point-to-point -point model, smaller white bodies going further distances taking passengers straight to their final destination. And with its efficiency and huge range, the 787 as it will later become known quickly became a hit with airlines. Airbus though was more skeptical about Boeing's newest clean sheet airliner, believing it was simply a reaction to their hugely popular A330. Airlines however urged Airbus to launch an all new white body or risk losing market share. Eventually, pushed by demand, Airbus finally launched their counter-attack, the new A350. However, the initial A350 was supposed to simply be an A330 fuselage paired with the new generation engines. Sound familiar? Anyways, this proposal too drew criticism from airlines, with airlines urging Airbus to ditch the A330's fuselage and come up with an entirely new one. That would eventually come in 2006, with the formal launch of the XWB. The XWB itself was positioned in between 787 and 777, and in 2013, with the dropping of the smallest Dash 800 version intended to replace A330 and compete with 787, Airbus was found once again in a position with no true competitor to the 787 like for like in terms of capacity. In the 2010s though, Airbus was working on another new program, the A320neo program. Airbus discovered that by optimizing the older A320 simply with new engines, they could deliver fuel burn savings on par with brand new aircraft. At the time, one of the largest operators of A320, AirAsia, placed huge orders for the NEO. However, AirAsia 2 had a couple of A330s and wanted Airbus to make the same upgrades on A330, a simple re-engine with aerodynamic enhancements to deliver fuel burn close enough to the brand new 787 without the high cost and commonality with existing A330s. Other A330 operators too were interested in the NEO, while some airlines wanted the efficiency of the new engines but didn't need the range offered by the most capable white bodies. Finally, in 2014, the new A330neo program was launched at the Farnborough Air Show and received orders from many A330 operators.
Airbus set an ambitious entry in the service schedule, which at the time was set for 2018 to meet customer demands and match 787 delivery dates. And so, the task was on to design the most capable A330 ever. Obviously, the main fuel-saving benefits came from the new engines. The existing A330 was powered by either Rolls-Royce Trent 700, PW4000 or GE CF6. A tough engine selection process for the A330 Neo began and key contenders included the GE NX and Rolls-Royce Trent 7000. GE, however, elected not to power the A330 Neo eventually as they felt the market was simply too small for return on their investment that left the 8330 Neo program with the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 based upon the Trent XWB and Trent 1000 TEN. The new engines alone gave 8330 Neo an 11% fuel burn saving. The new engines feature a larger 112-inch fan and higher bypass ratios doubled from 5 to 1 of the CO to a new 10 to 1 bypass. However, the higher weight meant the net fuel burn saving was only 9%. To meet the 12% promised, Airbus turned to another area to reduce fuel burn, aerodynamics. At the time, Airbus was wrapping up development of their A350 and thus had a huge library of new technologies they could borrow from A350. Airbus decided to heavily modify the wing without the need to change main structural components such as the center wing box. They increased the wingspan from 60.4 to 64 meters with new A350 style winglets at the tips. Airbus shortened the flap fairings and used new 3D modeling to modify the wing body fairing. Aerodynamic improvements gave the Neo an additional 4% in fuel burn savings, hitting the 12% target. Airbus, however, wasn't finished. They looked at the cabin and took the opportunity to launch the airspace cabin brand with the Neo. With an A350 inspired design, the Neo's cabin features new mood lighting with welcome effect, new larger overhead bins, the latest Wi Fi, and IFE. Airbus, however, kept the beloved features of the A330, such as a 2x4x2 18 inch wide seat layout in economy, a new galley layout at the rear and underfloor crew rest compartment allowed for additional 6 seats on board the Dash 800 and 10 seats on board the Dash 900, lowering fuel burn per seat another 2% while preserving the high level of passenger comfort expected by passengers. With the final design freeze on the 12th of June 2015, time came to build and put together the ultimate 8330. In September of 2016, the first A330-900 finally entered the final assembly line in Toulouse. It was completed in December of the same year, but immediately, Airbus ran into the biggest snag in the entire program. Due to issues with Rolls-Royce at the engine, the Trent 1000 of 787, this led to engine delays of about 6 months.
finally, in June of 2017, the first pair of engines arrived at the Airbus factory. Throughout the wait, the shiny new aeroplanes were parked with concrete blocks hung under the wings, preventing the aircraft from tipping. But at last, with engines installed, the first A330neo is ready for its first flight. A mere three years since the program launch, the first A330-900 is on the runway, on its maiden voyage around Toulouse. The Neo takes off quieter, cleaner, and steeper out of a hazy Toulouse. The first flight was a success, and Airbus proceeded with the flight test campaign. The aircraft, had its tail skid dragged on the ground, was flown to hot and high, cold and dry, and even flew all around the world with an airliner cabin, testing all systems once in service. After a rigorous 1100 hours, Yasa granted the A330-900 its type certificate on the 26th of September 2018. And with that, the first A330-900 was handed over to launch customer TAP leased via Avalon. With Dash 900 deliveries ramping up nicely, Airbus turned their attention to the smaller but longer range Dash 800, which had its first flight just a few months later on the 6th of November 2018. Development of this model was filled with uncertainty. Following Hawaiian Airlines order cancellation, choosing instead to go with the 787 in a drastic blow to Airbus, for a while, the A330-800 was a white elephant with no orders. The fate of the program was cast in doubt, but finally, on the 16th of October 2018, the 800 was handed its lifeline with an order of 6 from Kuwait Airways. Delivery of that model is still pending, but for now, A330neo production was held at the steady rate of 6 as new aircraft carry passengers all over the world. In the spirit of continued innovation, Airbus made one major upgrade to NEO in 2017. Airbus was taking the maximum takeoff weight of the A330 NEO up to a record high 251 tons. 
adding up to 650 nautical miles more range or 6 tons more payload on routes. This variant was certified on the 8th of October 2020 by IATA, with a smaller Dash 800 expected to follow in 2021. This is really the perfect summary of the A330neo story, a story of continuous and incremental innovation, making the best better. The Neo is now safely ferrying passengers and cargo all over the world, and with the 1500th A330 delivery to Delta Airlines, it truly shows the continued demand for this modern aircraft. Continuing the legacy of the A330 family, the A330 story lives on with the Neo truly powering into the future.